Alright, what's up guys? This is Antix09. I'm going to bring you the first chill effects tutorial. Um, so first off, um, I'm going to teach you how to do like a cool like fade out effect that you can use on clips. Um, but not only is this going to help you do that, but it's going to help you like, uh, you know, uh, with like using fractal noises and stuff to make other cool effects as well because it's pretty much the same concept and um, people in Gears of War haven't really used it in this way yet so All right, I'm going to show you guys um, so first off comp new comp blah 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 whatever okay project All right, bring, your, bring your clip in here whatever it is um, Hold on, let me just. Um, now what you want to do is you want to go to layer, new, solid. Sorry if I sound unenthusiastic. I'm just a little bit tired right now. Um. Now you just want to go effect, noise and grain, fractal noise. From there you want to go to animation presets, fog lights. All right, so. This doesn't look like much now, but we're gonna shape this up. Alright, go to channel invert. Okay, now that you have it inverted, go to multiply. Alright. Now, what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna bring up the brightness. I mean, bring down the brightness, my bad. Um, so, uh,. I don't know, like about there. Alright, now you want to keyframe it and then you want to bring it to like where you want it to fade out. I mean, like, I don't care about this clip, so let's just say it's right here. It'll be like fading out the whole time. Um, you want to raise this so you can't see the clip anymore. Alright, now hit U, like click on the clip and hit U. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, like at the at the start, just unkeyframe all the stuff that they already had keyframed here so you can make your own keyframes for stuff. Um, hit Evolution, keyframe right there. Then you want to move it up here. Right, oh leg and like a mofo. Alright, right there. So it's evened up. Then you want to make the evolutions uh, I don't know, we'll say 4, okay? Make the 0. Um, Alright. Alright, right there. Okay. Now that we have that, um, you want to go down. I mean, that alone looks pretty cool. It looks like like usually you need like a plugin to create that kind of like fade out by like. It looks like it's like kind of like burning out or something. But um, then what you want to do is you want to go to the clip itself and you want to hit effect, trap code, star glow on it. If you have it, I mean, like, if you don't have it, it's cool, but... Alright, now you go to pre-process, threshold, and the threshold is going to be uh, 300, whatever you make it, so you can't even see it anymore. Um, then, you want to go down to color map A, make it fire, color map B make it fire okay so go back to pre-process um come here hit you so that like you know you can see these keyframes you want to keyframe it so that the fresh the threshold goes is right there right as the clip fades out because it even though the it says that it's fully faded out here 
it's it fades out a little bit here because I might have made it more or less or whatever. So you uh, you just want to look. Um, all right now go back here. Now what you want to do is you want to make the threshold zero. And that's that. And there is zero. Now we can watch this. Comes in. And just like that, um, I mean, you can actually like lower the streak length if you want to too. And I I usually put it at two because if you put it at one, it like takes away from the color. If you put it at two, it's basically the color with like no streaks. And you can put the boost light to like three, I guess, and it'll look a lot. It I don't know. The other way looks cool too. But usually, like this way, it looks a lot cooler. Like that, I don't know. It looks less messy this way. It's like this, and then flames out. So I know it was like a short tutorial. I'll try and post another one tomorrow. But tell me what you guys think of this. I mean, it's like pretty much one of my first tutorials. I'm tired as anything. But um, leave your comments in the comment box. We were supposed to have a uh, a Photoshop tutorial up today, but I couldn't. My friend couldn't get to it. I guess he wasn't on today. So um, yeah, send me tutorial requests and stuff on my YouTube and uh, in the comment box. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.